Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Ahmed Farid. Um, first thing I want to ask you, what is your dream? I also want to ask you, is it really your dream or uh, your parents or your dad's, your mom's, your family's dream? I want to go through a uh, space story. How did the space start? And where is going to end? And um, how is ending? What they are planning to do right now? Space started in 1926 with the first rocket. Um, it was a failure. It was a small idea. Afterwards, they came up with a, it was an American rocket, and then the the Germans started as well to uh, do the other um, liquid rocket flying to the space. Uh, 1944, as we see here, uh, we've got the first man trying to be there, but it's not happening, and it never happened. Then the Russians, the Americans, and then the Russians again, and then again landing on the moon started after the Sputnik. That was the first object in space. Um, that's just a story of the space itself. Um, it was a, through a Cold War, while everyone want to say, I'm stronger, I have the idea, um, I'm doing much better that, than, than, than yourself. Um, 1969, which is coming up, that was the first man on the moon. When they came up with the idea in 1926, what they want to do in space, they started from 1969 by having Armstrong on the moon, realizing that the dream that they have dreamed of is becoming something, becoming bigger. And from there, they were just letting the man land on the moon without real experiment that's really affecting us on Earth. Started the space station, the International Space Station. Started uh, Mir, the Russian space station. And they, um, they did the, uni the United together. They, they, they became um, International Space Station, where they have the Russians, the Americans, the Japanese, the Europeans, and the Canadians. They started space exploration from nothing, from a small idea, until it became really huge. The small idea, nobody understood why they wanted to do that before. Nobody understood why they wanted to go to space and why space is important to us on Earth. It became complicated, became also very uh, matter of subject of people asking now, what does space help us? How is it helping us on Earth? Why we need space? Is it just to be cool to be an astronaut? Is it just to be cool to be in space? Is it just to, to, to get uh, people starting uh, their interest changing from the internet to the space? Which I always uh, say, space is the new internet. Why am I talking about the space history? I'm going to the gateway to the moon. It's not me. I'm going to the story that is started for the next step that is happening right now in space. I talked about the International Space Station before, which is a cooperation between the Americans, Russians, Canadians, and Japanese, Europeans. Out of those nations, 
they decided they want to go deeper in space. They decided they want to get more science. They want to get more exploration where they have weak knowledge and, and the deep space. When they started to do that, they are deciding 2024, which is in four years, they want to build another space station. It's called Gateway. That's going to be orbiting the moon. While it's orbiting the moon, there are humans going to that space station. They'll orbit the moon. They go from the Gateway space station to the moon. They want to build a base on the moon. They want to build village, which is called uh, Moon Village. They want to build robots. They want to build cities that taking the workers from the ground to the moon and from the moon to the deep space. Why, why they're doing that? Why, why especially the moon? Why not Mars, for example? Why not Mars starting now and then starting with the moon first? The moon does have H3, does have a material that is not on Earth, that is way more expensive on Earth than getting it from the moon. That's why India now want to be landing on the moon. Russia, ESA, which are the Europeans, the Americans, of course. At this stage, they are not the first, but they are the leaders still. And all other nations, they want to land and get more advantages to Earth from space. How's that happening? How are we getting advantage from space? Why I'm telling the story about the space? Because three words. Thoughts become things. If you think of something, you really do it. Dreams without work, it's just dreams. As I asked before, what is your dream? And as I ask as well, is it really your dream? Or this is how your parents want you to be? My dad, he wanted me to be a doctor. It wasn't really my interest. Although, while I was a child, I just knew that hospitals, hospital atmosphere, um, doctors. That's all what I knew. That's what my word was. But it didn't really take my interest. I was interested into games. I wanted to play. Um, as a every little child, but not just playing. I also wanted to create something while I was playing. I was eight. Um, I was eight, and that's when I started my career. So I started my career as, as, as when I was eight years old. It's a joke, everyone. You can laugh. And at the time when I started my, my career, when I was eight, I started to play with a computer. I started to play with the programming. I, I, I was bored of the games. I was bored of gaming. I was bored of letting my, my time being waste on just no gain after hours of gamings. I wanted to build a game myself. I wanted to build what is happening on the screen. I wanted to build it myself. But still, I didn't learn how. And still, the idea of people uh, surrounding me, telling me, gaming, playing, that's not getting you to anywhere. Uh, you gotta be, you gotta be something that people would talk about. You gotta be something that is bigger than just interested in in IT or gaming or networking. Which practically the profiling, engineer, doctor, officer, pilot, and an astronaut. The idea 
of me starting to do what I want to do, it just been let out by my parents. They supported me for letting me do what I really want to do. After the support, I took my way and been selected as ground controller, spacecraft commander, spacecraft controller for the ground, spa uh, ground, uh, um, ground space station. Um, been selected as an astronaut scientist candidate for Possum program. Um, I'm the only Egyptian there at the German, located at the German Space Operations Center. And the, the final of that, I know a person very, very close to me. Recently, he passed away. He had problems with his back. He had a back pain, and the spine is getting very hard powered on the nerves, which the nerve letting the hands not really moving in the right direction, and as well as the legs. So there were difficulties doing fine things while the hands are not really doing what it should do, what it's supposed to do. This person had to be either operated, he was a bit an older person, or doing a physiotherapy. The physiotherapy was the option for that person. The physiotherapy, it was an special uh, machine that is letting the spines and the head moving in certain way that the nerves getting its freedom again. Um, I always talk with that person. I always say, how, how would you fix that right now? And that was the last thing to be fixed, which is the physiotherapy. The machine, it's located in few spots on Earth. They are not everywhere. He had to fly somewhere to use that machine. I searched the internet. I was looking at the machine and I was saying, all right, let me see where is that machine developed and why is so few and why is that much expensive and how does this help us here? I figured out that this machine been developed on the International Space Station, that's the ISS. While I was already working as a ground controller for the International Space Station for Columbus. And this person, he was my dad. So my dad, the doctor, I helped him without me being a doctor while I did what I really wanted to do. The idea behind what I want to say is dream big. Dream what you really want to dream for. Dream what you really want to do. I always say, no matter where you come from, your dream is valid. When I was your age, when I was younger, when I was eight, I didn't know where I'm going to be, but I had a dream. And no matter where you come from, your dream is valid. Thank you.